Welcome to Highline BI 348 video number 35. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 chapter 2.5, import 6, either the start or finish file, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to use Power Query to get some data from the web. So over here, I have looked up Yahoo Finance statistics at a particular website. And I want to get that table, information like market cap and price to sales, and also this table down here with the beta. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the web address. And not all websites will allow you to import data, but many will. So this is a great feature. I'm going to go over to Excel and Power Query, get external data from web. And look at this. It's just going to ask you for the web address, Control V, and click OK. It'll look through that site, and if it can find tables to download, it will list them. So I'm going to click and take a little preview. That's not it. Table 1, that's one of them. And I think it was Table 5. No, not Table 5, but that's got the income statement. That's got the balance sheet. 7, 8, so it's 8. Now I'm going to come up here and select multiple items. And then I want Table 1 and Table 8. Now I come down and click Edit. And watch this. We have multiple tables. Look, 1 and 2. So I'm going to start with this one. Double click Column 1, Measurement. And then double click, and I'm going to say Number. And I'm going to call this Import Yahoo Table 1, Control-C, because I'm going to use it again. Then I'm going to come over here and paste it. Control V, backspace 2, Enter. I'm going to promote the headers here, even though I don't want them. Double click, measurement. Double click and call this number. Now watch this. I'm going to put them both onto their individual sheet. I'm just going to click Close and Load 2. And boom, boom, just like that. I have sheet 3. There's the table, table 2. I can click over here and I jump over. Table 1, table 2. Now, if any of this data changes, like tomorrow this changes, you just come in here and refresh, and it will automatically go out and get the latest data. So if a website has tables that you can import, it is as easy as copying the URL, editing, and loading to the sheets. All right, next video, we have another short video about unpivoting columns with Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video.